Well, Monday will be pretty pleasant temperature-wise still for the Twin Cities, but the heat is already building into the southwest and all of southern Minnesota gets taken over by some scorching heat the next few days. Heat finally breaks by Friday. Could even see some thunderstorms to the north tonight. So massive part of the central U.S. under heat advisories and excessive heat warnings all the way up, uh, of course, to us in southern Minnesota and the Twin Cities. Now, it doesn't go into effect for the Twin Cities until tomorrow. Uh, we will see temperatures still pretty pleasant, though. You're going to notice those dew points already going up considerably today. Uh, so southwestern Minnesota, the excessive heat today, that's where we'll see highs in the low 90s, but dew points in the 70s. So that means the heat index will be triple digits. We've got this just massive heat dome with the center of it parked just to our south and southwest, and it's going to be sitting over us the next few days before finally subsiding a little bit. Uh, as we head into the end of the week, but uh, it's not going away just yet. There are some signs that it could be hot again next week as we start September even. Highs uh, today, probably low to mid 80s in the Twin Cities, but low 90s to the southwest as that heat builds in. Only 60s in northern Minnesota under clouds and a few showers there, but the heat index, that's going to be triple digits for places like Marshall, Mankato even, Worthington. Uh, and then that is headed our way as we head into tomorrow, Wednesday, and even probably Thursday. So the other thing we're watching north of the warm front are thunderstorms developing overnight tonight is that low level jet or winds 4,000 feet up get going. Uh, so thunderstorms will develop probably right on top of the Duluth areas, northwestern Wisconsin, even a marginal risk of severe weather uh, around that area. Pretty low, level one out of five, but a couple storms could produce some large hails, the main threats. Doesn't even look like really much of a wind threat out of this, but uh, some downpours, some lightning thunder, and then again, maybe a little large hail. Then Tuesday, yeah, we all get in on it here across southern Minnesota, low to mid 90s for highs, uh, some upper 90s to the west, but you combine that with dew points in the 70s, something we haven't seen a whole lot of this summer, but now that we've been getting rain, we are. Uh, heat index probably in the triple digits for the southern half of the state. And it is worth mentioning that there are fingerprints of climate change on this. We can do these rapid attribution uh, analyses now. This is from Climate Central, and it does show Southern Minnesota Tuesday uh, a climate shift index of two, which means that the temperatures we'll see Tuesday, Wednesday are made twice as likely because of the warming in our world. It is unusual to get this kind of heat this late into August. Wednesday is going to be hot again, another day with triple digit heat indices again before that heat breaks uh, late in the week, still probably in the 90s Thursday, uh, but by Friday in the weekend it will break. Now the models are overdoing the temperatures a little bit, that's why you keep seeing a lot of these triple digit numbers, which is possible in southwestern Minnesota, but this is an example of forecast highs yesterday with a blend of the models compared to what actually happened and they've been off by two, three degrees pretty consistently, which makes a difference when we're talking about potential triple digits, but it's still going to be very hot, no doubt. Uh, mid to upper 90s Tuesday, Wednesday, and again, with these dew points in the 70s, something we haven't seen a whole lot of, it is going to make it feel like between 100 and even 110 for some spots.